and here we go. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Samrat. I'm Diniva. I'm Zara. So today we are delving into a new comedian, Loiso. Loiso. Gola. Gola. So this is uh, from our comments, recommendations, suggestions. A lot of people showing us love from South Africa, so yeah. we are showing the love in return. Let's show the love back. Let's yep. go. I want to go so bad. <laughs> I want to visit so bad. So, again, this is Leoso Gola live at the Apollo. Are we ready? Ready. Ready. Yeah. Do we know who he is? I've never Not heard of him. Not a clue, him. but I'm excited to find out. Mm -hmm. So, if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the <laughs> notification bell. All right, let's do this. And here we go. Is that show still going on? Live at the Apollo? What's happening? What's happening? Here's the thing about you people. You don't greet. I just, no, it's too late. I came out with a big smile and I greeted you. You just looked at me like I owe you money. <laughs> and it's a weird thing, because I'm African. I greet, like I greet. That's what we do as Africans. You know, we just greet first. We're like, hello. Uh, you people freak out in the bus. I'm like, hello, everyone. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, everyone mind your own business. Why is he talking to us? <laughs> like you people call each other all kinds of things, like without greeting. I am Wanka. <laughs> what? There's no African that will call someone a wanker without greeting. Like, it's unheard of. Like, I would have to, you know what I mean? Like, as Africans, we greet first. Hello, how are you? How are the kids? How's work? And you'd be like, ah, oh, no, everything is good. Yeah, I said all of that just to call you a wanker. Yes. There's <laughs> <laughs> no way I could just go straight into wanker without I must let it build up a little bit, make you feel comfortable, then destroy you. <laughs> I love it here, it's nice. When are you guys having another referendum? Ooh. <laughs> Can't wait for the referendum. Because <laughs> for me, the referendum was silly because you guys were trying to leave Europe. It's physically impossible for you mm. guys to leave Europe. You are in Europe. Where are you going to go? Because you are not welcome in Africa. You are not welcome. <laughs> you are not welcome. You are not welcome at all. Oh, fool me once. <laughs> <laughs> the last referendum South Africa had was 1992. 1992. You know what was in question? Should apartheid end or should apartheid continue? <laughs> but only white people were allowed to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, white people are amazing. I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> I think you guys need to be more transparent when it comes to foxes. What did the fox say? <laughs> I think you need to tell the world that you have foxes wandering your street. It, <laughs> like, don't let us just find out on the street while minding. <laughs> I think it should be a thing that you talk about casually. We have the Queen, London Eye. Oh, yeah, foxes for days. Foxes. Because <laughs> I was walking through Shoreditch High Street, right? Shoreditch High Street, first world London. What did I see? Fox. But not a fox running away from traffic. The most confident fox I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. This fox was investigating a crime. Like, that's how confident. <laughs> you know when the fox is like, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and so now I'm rolling with my friends, and my friends are like, <laughs> you know, I, I say to my friends, I have to acknowledge this idea of a fox, because the fox is here now, like, na like the fox is there. It's a wild animal. It's a common now. thing, huh? Out there, everyone like is calm. Squirrel. See the way you are calm. Everyone is calm. Oh. I'm the only one who's freaked out about this whole issue. <laughs> so now I have to address the issue of a wild animal in first world London. <laughs> <laughs> So I said to my friends, hey, I don't know much, but I can tell you with confidence that that over there is uh, not a dog. That's not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a dog. That over there, it's not a dog, that thing there. <laughs> that is, uh, my friends said, oh, Luiso, that's a fox. We've got tons of those. 
It's like chicken over here. Come, tell us. Roman streets. Yeah. And he looked at me and said, oh, you from South Africa, yeah? You should be used to wild animals. Uh, then another one I've read about it was like, oh, that's a bit racist. I said, no, it's not. I'm from Africa, we have animals. You people travel to see animals. What's so racist about that? <laughs> then I realized you guys as Britain have fucked up so much in the world that your racism is like you have another level of racism. Like we have like, you know, like your, the racism you guys discuss and talk about is like that nuanced, mm, is, it, is it? I grew up during apartheid South Africa. Our racism was very, very clear. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't like subtle, there's a gray area. I was like, why can't we go to the beach? Because there's a sign that says no blacks allowed. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Very straightforward racism. I like it. Top of the range. Top shelf <laughs> shit, man. Like, <laughs> no, this is nonsense that I'm experiencing in London. Oh, I'm not Japanese. I'm from Taiwan. Bah, bah, bah. Listen, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I don't live here, I'm confused, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not used to that racism, I'm used to that top range stuff, man. And here's the thing, I don't know how to navigate myself through London because it's so multicultural, I don't know who's gonna get offended, I don't know who's, you know, I, I just don't know, you know. But I did find that when it comes to gingers, it's open game, anyone can... <laughs> Gingers, yeah. like you could kill a ginger, you know that. You yeah. And you'll get to the judge, you'll be like, What happened? I killed the ginger. The judge was like, Yeah, but it's a ginger. I mean, what, <laughs> oh my what God. do they expect you to do? Not kill them, kill the ginger. Why would you not? <laughs> I went to Blackpool. It's a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> I was in Blackpool, right? And I was doing some shows in Blackpool, and there was a white woman cleaning my room my hotel room. Now you must understand, I grew up in apartheid South Africa. I grew up in a very unequal society. Mm. So this for me was, never experienced this in my life. There was a white woman cleaning my, oh, I was throwing shit on the floor while she was cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> she was confused, why would you do that? I said, I don't know how long this is gonna last. <laughs> I don't know if this is ever going to happen again. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible. So <laughs> I was taking pictures. Click. Post it. Sending it to the family WhatsApp group. <laughs> Everyone's like, you are doing well, my boy. You are doing well. <laughs> you guys have been a, a cool crowd. I really enjoyed chatting to you people. So thank you very much for listening to my bullshit. Good night. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is it. His, I don't know if it was his first time in Apollo or, you know. But that was Lioso Gola live at the Apollo. I don't know what year this is from. Uh, what do you think? I like Th it. That ginger part, huh? I mean, that's a universal. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> I don't know He's why it wrong. is the way it is, but. <laughs> He's not wrong know. at all. Oh. I like it. 10 out of 10. So another one from Apartheid. Lost. You know, the, <laughs> no, Apartheid is the law where. White and segregation. segregation. Remember how you oh. said going to the white, oh, yeah. like the beach, no blacks allowed. Yeah, that's apartheid, right? Apart. Yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> I like it. It's very interesting. Very new. Yeah. Yeah. I like his accent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't know that it was going to be in uh, like London. London. Yeah. Yeah. The that's Apollo. A the only time I heard about the Apollo is they do have they did have a show called Live the Apollo I don't know if you guys remember I think that's when uh, the clown comes and y yank if you no. you fail and the clown yank you off stage no, no never heard I of that I need to see that huh? no you guys <laughs> have you heard of Star Search Star no no Ed McMahon no no, no. Oh, yeah. yeah it's basically just like you know how they got America's Got Talent nowadays yeah. but before that it was Live the Apollo basically people come and do like uh, talent yeah it's like a talent show oh yeah, that's what the oh, Live the okay. Apollo is. I see what you mean. Yeah, so same thing. <laughs> so, but I didn't know that it was going on in other areas. I mean, yeah. I should have known, but yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Like, uh, so if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ta for now. Bye. Chee-hoo. <laughs>